everybody is feeling good and great and got out and got some of this sunshine while it lasts, while it was warm and now it's cold in the motherfucker. So I hope y'all all didn't fall for the bullshit because it was some bullshit that was going on outside. I like a hood nigga and a drug dealer and a gang member with tattoos with a big blick and a big dick and he eat a pussy like a vacuum. Fuck with a drill rapper, he be killing shit. Fuck with a scamming nigga, he be stealing shit. So I let him hit. When we fell asleep, when I woke up, he was stealing it. Ooh. Wait, wait, y'all know how I do it. I just jump right into do into it. And um, I had to come on because um, Monique was on uh, Club Shay Shay, and you know she gave some some very helpful hints that I think that I hope that ladies were really paying attention because, you know, I feel like me and her are kind of on the same wavelength as far as thinking is, is when it comes to these relationships and, and whatnot. Um, so here's the first thing that Monique said. Everybody thinks you are the hero. Consideration can be thrown out the window. Patience can be thrown out the window. Because when you get home, you believe that I'm the breadwinner. And what I say is what goes. And this is what it is. And then this is my third marriage, though my first. Because this is the first time I've known my place as a black man's wife. Mm. And there's a place. And we get so caught up in that word. What you mean your place? What you mean? Without him saying it, his actions showed me that he was the leader of that household. Without him saying it, I knew I was dealing with a king. And he doesn't have to constantly remind you of it. He, he never. He's never. When we first got together, I sat at the head of that table. Comfortably. There was never a conversation about it. Till one day I knew I was in the wrong place. Wow. And I moved to the side of the table. And he sat at the head. We never had a conversation about it. It just happened because it was supposed to. So when people question my husband and why is he there, you would hope you would have one like Okay, she's saying how, uh, especially in the job that she have, or just like in general, I guess it, this can happen with people. Uh, people forget to be patient. They forget to be patient, to be kind, to be considerate <coughs> of the person's that you are in a relationship with, right? And not only that your relationship with, with your spouse, but also we can't forget the children too because you, you have a relationship with them, with them as well. Uh, so we have to learn to be a little bit more nicer and kind and gentler. Gentler, is that a word? Whatever the fuck. Um, with, with one another. And uh, she said that, you know, she, she found, she knew her place. Bitch, everybody on this earth, I don't know why y'all hoes be getting mad by that. Because everybody has, a, we all have places in, uh, in, this, in, uh, uh, in this world. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say you working somewhere, motherfucker. If, if your ass ain't the head, what, what the fuck? You like, you know, you you wherever you at. You know what I'm saying? And that that's a placement. You know what I'm saying? So, being in a relationship when you were with a, a man and a woman, there is a placement. <coughs> and everybody got to play accordingly. Now, you know, you. I feel that you definitely should let your man be a man, and, and you be a woman. Uh, now, mind you, uh, why, why am I about to call somebody else's name? Y'all know, know nobody's name. Monique and her husband have their own love language, and everybody do have their own love language. You know, they call each other Ma and Pa or something like that. It's like I have another couple that I know who, you know, they call each other bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, but amongst themselves and around, you know, like that's just, that's their love, that's their love language. You know what I'm saying? To where they don't get offended and nothing like that. And it's also a tone that I also heard when I hear them two talking to each other in, in that way. You know what I'm saying? So everybody do have their own love language and, um, and everybody do not have to know that you do have your place and know how to uh, play it. That doesn't mean uh, that you have to be... You know what I'm saying? When your man, when your man marry you and when you marry your man, like he know who you are and you know who you... And he know who you is. You know but, but still, like you still allow him to be the... 
the, the man and you and you also be the woman. A lot of women do jump, you know, being is, I don't know, is that really a thing? Like, what you talking about, they don't need no man and all this old crazy shit? Girl, boo, I don't even know why y'all even say that. Unless y'all gay or something, y'all like girls or something. I don't know where, where you would come up with that from. But, um... But when you in a relationship, like, you know, it's, it's an equal motherfucking thing. And it's recept The shit is like a motherfucking wheel that's constantly going and music that's playing. And, and this person do this and that. And y'all play off of each other. You understand what I'm saying? It's not just, you know, he talking it and I be quiet and I don't have a comment or I don't have a, a statement to make or anything like that. Like, no, I don't believe in that. But whatever works for you in your relationship, but I do believe, and I don't know why the woman would be up in arms about her saying that, you know, she know her place. Just like how she told us how she was sitting at the head of the motherfucking table, like, girl. But she said, you know, she, she realized it like within herself, like, yo, this shit was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, I shouldn't be sitting here. The man needs to be sitting. Like, in her, like, yeah, let the man sit there. What what's the problem, ladies? Y'all gotta stop with this. I don't I don't know. I I, I no, I know. I don't know. What what the fuck y'all on? Cause I ain't. It ain't that. Don't nobody want to be lonely and by themselves, or you know what I'm saying? That not being in a relationship and not knowing how to move forward in your own relationship because everybody relationship is different. But long as you and your and your person. Long as y'all got it together and y'all know how whoever who's good at this do that, whoever that she good at that, she do that, he good at that, do that. You know what I'm saying? And y'all moving forward because being complacent is like and stagnated. Who wants to be there? You must to constantly be elevating and moving forward. Constantly be elevating and moving forward. And uh, Monique also had this to say, so let's check it out. Let me tell you something. <laughs> yeah, you, they say, you, you said, hey, come on, can we, like, when we come out of the house, can we not have the bonnets on? Can we not have the pajamas on? Can we not have the house shoes going in the The whole going damn down? Halloween costume. That's a Halloween costume that you wear on Halloween. And I am passionate about that because what is the representation that we're giving to the little girls that's walking behind you? What is the representation that we're giving to our black men that's walking beside us? What is the representation that we're giving? And when they would say to me, oh, Monique, you don't know what they're going through. We've always been going through something. Yes. We was going through something when we got off the damn boat. We've been going through something. True. But once you lose the pride and the dignity of what you... Of what you feel like you look like, then we've lost. Okay, I'm in agreement with her on this. Uh, on this. Uh, with that, this whole pajama wearing shit outside, like you're going on a journey. Now I see if you was coming out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you around in, in front of your house? You going out to get the mail? Some shit like that? You know, like a real quick walk in the door. Like, see, I don't know. Let me stop saying that. Cause I don't go outside with my pajamas on. My pajamas are strictly for my for, for sleeping. And when I get in the bed, like once they go outside, they contaminate it to me. Uh, unless you in, instantly throwing them in the in the uh, the laundry basket, cause I you can't I, you can't get my in the bed with and with the motherfucking pajamas on. That was just outside. I said I can't do that. So that ain't for me. But I do understand what she said. Like that shit is disgusting. Like uh, and and it looks really disgusting, especially when you on the whole fucking. Um, on a whole fucking journey and a mission and shit. I done seen bitches on the plane. Like, I'm like, did this bitch got on motherfucking pajamas in it? Why she just get out the bed and she got the whole shit on? Like, but the house shoes, the whole shit. See bitches on the on a fucking train like that. Look, looking like, now, what the fuck is going on now? You know, it could be a desperate situation. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? The way you got to get up out of there. Okay, okay, understand that part. But just on some rag, like, no, unacceptable. Because the way you present yourself is everything. It it, it, it really and truly is. Like, um, but have I seen girls who wear a bonnet? And, um, but have one, like, <coughs> some regular clothes? And had it on, like, Together, I was like, I have seen that. I'm not even gonna, I ain't even gonna hold you. Like, oh, okay, she did that. 
Okay, I like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the, the bonnet with the whole sleepwear, definitely not. Definitely not. The way you present yourself to the world says a lot, like, about yourself. Like, regardless if, like, other mouth, you know these people are not. But still, you should also be taking inventory because there's people around you who see you. And it's probably somebody that's younger that see you and be like, oh, okay. This is how we, this is how we give it up. We go outside like that. I mean, and, and go outside, outside, outside. So the point is, have some integrity about yourself. Have a lot of class about yourself. Have some fashion about yourself, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But, uh, yeah. And also, she also said this shit. Check this out. Is Mrs. Sydney Hicks that my husband has set me down and had conversations with me and really taught me how to be a lady. Because people in this business know, if you get it sideways, <laughs> baby, you beat that boy over the head with that tray in the cafeteria, right? Mm -hmm. I will cuss your ass out in ways that they wish I beat him with a tray. <laughs> and he had to say, Mama, they won't hear you. Right. They don't hear you. Once you go there, so he's had to teach me how to really be a queen. Right. Really know my worth. Really understand my value. And I'm grateful for that. And I used to say to my husband, I wish I could put you in a Bible and shake you up and let black women take a sip to know what it's like to truly be loved by a black man that is a king. When I tell you, Shannon, it's a love that is unexplainable and unimaginable. That's why I can't be broken. And I say that humbly. I can't be broken because I got a king at home. I got a king right there that when all this shit went crazy, that man took me. Yeah, sometimes like a man do have to teach um, a woman how to be, <coughs> how to be a, uh, a lady, especially if they had a whole lot of trauma. Or, or not, or just nobody never been around him that has been a lady. Like who knows how to handle themselves when, when, we're, we're in the thick of shit when you got to get like you crazy with people outside in the streets. Cause so, you know, the people will try to press you, but it's also your approach to that too. You can't allow people to like, to take you there. You know what I'm saying? But yes, of course, I'm not, I'm not saying that you don't put motherfuckers in their place. Oh yeah, you do. Cause when it's time to put a motherfucker in their place, you put them in their place. Cause, but there's a way in which you do that. You ain't gotta be motherfucking this and butt bitch and black and that and that. You know what I'm saying? You you can tear you can tear a person down with, with some simple words. I got the I am the original woman. End of the conversation. And and walk off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going there with you. And then also you don't want me going there with people who you can tell that's like. Uh, their life isn't that you can tell like th that they ain't got too much going on they feel unhappy within themselves and they trying to bring that energy off on you you know not you have to know not to play into that because people be feed they, they try to make you feed off the shit that they got going on because you have a light be aware and a conscious of shit like that that's also give you your goddess status too being aware of, of the things that are around you and how to maneuver. Yeah, so don't, you know not to feed into somebody else's bullshit because some people, it's a lot of unhappy ass people who's doing a whole bunch of unhappy ass shit. A lot of it. And you don't want to get caught up in somebody else's bullshit. You definitely don't want to do that. So Monique definitely dropped a whole bunch of gems and I hope that 
that women uh, take heed and pay attention and uh, uh, um, and apply it to their life. You know, because I'll be trying to teach you bitches how to be a lady, but y'all just don't want to listen to me. So, I mean, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But I hope that y'all take them gems because she definitely dropped like some some serious ones. I'm so real, so real. Well, anyway, uh, y'all know my name is Real. I'm Intimacy Coach Sass Seductions with the service called Seductive Bar. And on February 29th, I will be having a talk. We're going to be talking. Come and dialogue with me. Um, the last day in Black History Month, uh, we talk about fashion, sex, and money. Not fashion. Sex, money, and relationships. Well, fashion in there too. You already know. And um, and how we and how we gonna maneuver and how we can make our relationships better across the board. So come on and join me. It's only ten dollars. You go to my website and um, and yeah, and I hope to see you on the screen. And y'all also know I am an author. The title of my book is called Quickie is Seven Short Erotic Stories. Read why you fuck, fuck, why you read. And I am also a uh, designer slash fashion architect. The name of my brand is Real Nice by Real. Um, um, I have hoodies and crop top t-shirts right now. Uh, sweatshirts, I should say. <clears throat> on Etsy. So go over there and support I would appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, y'all know the brand is Real Nice Bar Room. And um, if I resonate with you, you know what to do. Please hit that, click that. I would appreciate that. You know, we try to get these over again. Up, 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 up. And y'all already know how we leave here. Um, be generous. Be polite. Be kind. Be thoughtful. Be, um great, be confident, be focused, be on time, be loving, um, be genuine, be a part of your community, black people, be black and proud, be about your motherfucking money, be hopeful, be boisterous, be opinionated, uh, be sexy, be all these great things. In the midst of you doing all these great shit, don't you ever think twice? And that is, you always be you. Until we meet again, y'all have a great one. Peace.